Hey everybody, I'm getting ready to start on a project that should be interesting. This is an RV carport. Um, it was here when we bought the house. I don't have an RV, so I've been using it to park my tractor under. Um, unfortunately, it's a little close to the house, and so I'm going to move it. So I've watched on YouTube a video of how to move one of these things without, hopefully, tearing it apart. The very first step will be to remove these big spikes. Then once those are up, I will attach some two by sixes across here. And then I'm gonna use the forklift on my tractor to lift it up. And then I will drag it out down that way, down the road, make a turn and come back up. And it's gonna sit right over there next to the shop. I've already got an area prepared for it. It's gonna be a tight fit, but it will work. So this is the location where I will put that carport. As you can see, it's close to my shop. A little bit more presentable, I think. It also will allow me to park my truck underneath it and use this side door if it happens to be raining. There's some stuff in the way, so that'll be our first process is to get all that stuff cleared out. And then we'll move this thing. I mentioned that the carport is secured to the ground with big long spikes. So I got a really big crowbar and just put it underneath that. And hopefully we'll get this, these lifted up enough to get underneath them. Then also with the tractor, that should do. Now I'll bring the tractor over and I'll wrap a chain around that and just pull it out. So we just pulled up the first of the spikes. I had no idea that they were so long. Fortunately, the tractor makes this job a whole lot easier. This one? Maybe that'll work. Right. Okay. Yep. So now we're in the process of attaching our cross beam that we're going to lift with the forklift. Uh, we're drilling holes to put bolts in and for some reason one of the extension cords decided to stop working so we're getting another extension cord. Alright so we got our power restored and now we're going back to drilling our holes and we'll get it attached. That's gonna break. I'm not convinced this is gonna be strong enough. Neither am I. Alright. Okay, so the first attempt did not work. Um, I was trying to minimize the amount of wood that we used. I uh, did not want to have to go buy some 16 foot two by sixes. So I kind of made them 16 foot by taking two eights and screwing them together with an eight in the middle. 
and that didn't work. So we've done another one with using a 10 foot two by six in the middle this time. And so we've got two of them here, they're bolted in. And I'm also gonna use a two by 10 on the forks as a way to try to dissipate the lifting force and maybe it won't break, we'll see.
Yeah, you're gonna hit. So we have to cut him. Okay. I may have to have you start pushing that corner. Got you. Okay, pushing it that way. Should we be okay? I think this will do. Yeah? yeah? Hell yeah. 